Do you have an old hoodie that's too big? Well, stick around. I'll show you how to chicka 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 mix it up. What is good? I'm Justin and you are tuning in to Jay Chung TV where we discuss all things streetwear related. I went to Disneyland in 2014 and I picked up this sick hoodie right here. I'm a huge fan of oversized slash baggier fits, but as you can see in this clip, the hoodie fits I but it could still be smaller. Recently, I just noticed I wasn't wearing this hoodie much and there's no way I could have sold this for any amount of money. Plus, I'm only like 20 years away from rocking that 2014 graphic like it's vintage, son. Plus, cropping it adds some character. It gives it that boxier fit and adds an unfinished look. Great way to spice things up. Lastly, my ex-girlfriend was really into Disney. So if this hoodie symbolizes her, then like the famous poet OT Genesis once said, we need to cut it. Cut it, get, cut it. It's a simple, easy DIY, and the end product is lit, bruh. All you need is a hoodie that fits too big, a pair of scissors, or a knife. Nope. Still nope. There we go, that's more like it. And just make sure the blade you have is sharp enough to cut through the fabric. Now, before you make a single cut and F it up, you wanna test how it's gonna fit. This is really easy. I'll insert a clip of how to do this. You wanna make a single cuff of where you're planning to cut. Me, it's probably the waistband. If you're a guy and after you do this test, it seems too short, I personally wouldn't cut it. That crop top look is gonna make you look like a male thought. That's okay if that's what you're going for. I don't judge. But me, nah. However, if it fits well, then we can move on to the next step. All right, you don't need to be Pablo Picasso to do this, but do focus. Take a deep breath and channel your inner artist. Well, don't channel Van Gogh, because I think you like your ear. Anyways, what you want to do is just cut all around the elastic waistband, like I'm doing right here. You can follow what I did, which is cut the front and the back at the same time because I'm lazy and that just saves time. As you cut, if you do this, check that you aren't cutting into the hoodie in the back because the back part, you're pretty much going in blind. After you're finished, go over the back and the front to clean it up and make sure there's little to no waistband left or else it'll fit weird. And ta-da, you're finished. <laughs> Quick question. You know how when we were kids, we were told not to run with the scissors pointing up? Does anyone have any stories of themselves or maybe their friends actually getting cut? Cause that would be hilarious. Stop it, get some help. As long as they didn't get hurt. Please drop stories in the comments down below. You can also cut the sleeve bands just to give that unfinished look everywhere. I personally won't because it fits well as it is. Another thing I've seen people do is they cut holes all over the hoodie to give it that super distressed look. I'm not gonna do that. Not only does it look like you try too hard, when you go overboard with the holes, you're one of these bad boys away from Rip City. And let's not do that. I'm really happy with how this turned out, as you can see. Not only do you get to recycle an old piece in your closet, you get to add some character to it, and you make it fit better. And who doesn't wanna do that? Let's get an outfit for you guys. I know this is a super easy tutorial, but even if you learn nothing from it, hopefully you got some inspiration. Please drop a like, it really helps the channel grow. Subscribe, I make streetwear videos every week. Comment down below how this DIY went for you. Peace, I see you soon, boy.